my name is uh, Mark Torsha. I'm at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, and um, I have uh, my main appointment is in the Department of Surgery with a cross appointment in anatomy. So I am teaching uh, medical students, dental students, rehab medicine students, a wide variety of medicine and allied health as well. So I think one of the, uh, the fundamental things that we're seeing change is the whole idea around e-learning. Um, and although we tend to focus a lot on the technology part of it, we focus less on the students learning and their experience doing e-learning. So whether that's something as simple as integrating something in the classroom like a YouTube video or having a course completely online, although we are using the technology, I'm not convinced we know quite what's better or what's not better for the student experience quite yet. So that's certainly something that's that's beginning to come up now. So with things like simulation, animations, um, the student experience is broadening, but now I think we need to understand how does that impact their learning. Um, so that's really the trend that I'm focusing most of my attention on. Understanding how we can take the material that's contained in the book and make it more available, more accessible, more valuable to students. So trying to understand how could we take things that are in the book on the pages and convert that into something else that uh, for some group of students could accentuate or accelerate their um, education. So can we turn something into a video that assists students in understanding how something works three-dimensionally? Can we point them to other resources that they could use? Can we provide them with uh, an RSS feed that pushes information out to them during the year so that it's not just a one-way kind of thing? Um, so those are some of the things that we're looking at doing. Because of the amount of teaching that I'm doing, that's been my focus is thinking about it how does this look from the student's perspective, not from an author's perspective, but what really makes a difference to a student? Does it make a difference if this is in a black and white image or a color image? Does it matter if it's a radiograph or an MRI? How can you make it more attractive to the student and enhance their learning? So that's really why I got involved, is try to enhance that student experience. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> it's you're going to be bombarded with hundreds of thousands of little bits and facts and really try to enmesh yourself in the enjoyment of the knowledge. You're not going to remember everything. You're not going to learn everything except that early on and then take a lot of time to really enjoy what you're learning. Share it with other people. Look for opportunities to even do some teaching. Um, I think that's one of the most powerful things I think in medicine um, in research that you can engage in is, is giving back some knowledge to someone else and seeing them light up with that knowledge. So I would encourage you to take every opportunity you can to do that. Exciting in the sense that you really get to stay up to date and I, I feel that's been really a benefit to my students. Uh, before I was involved in the book you, you tend to somewhat make the assumption that things aren't aren't changing as quickly as you think you are, or they are. Uh, but it, it's quite obvious that once you get drilling down into the literature to stay in advance, you have so much more that you can uh, speak to the students about, answer their questions, get them engaged in different levels of knowledge. So it's been very powerful. The people that we've worked with at Elsevier have been fantastic. 